Oh, hi there guys, my name is Morna Fiskin and I'm a science communicator and this week on Head Squeeze we're going to be looking at carbon dioxide and what's it actually good for because the fact is it's not just a waste product. Quite a long list of things that you're going to need. You're going to need something to protect your eyes, distilled malt vinegar which is white vinegar, little pipette, these little things are Eppendorf tubes you can buy them online. These weird looking things are actually film canisters. Now these are like antiques now, but you can hopefully get them somewhere maybe online as well. And last thing, bicarbonate of soda, and for this you're going to need a little scoop as well. So we know that gas takes up more room than the other states of matter. Now I'm going to prove this further by doing this little experiment called popping canisters. Now first things first, a little bit of safety, so you're going to need to get your goggles on. Now I'm going to create a chemical reaction between distilled malt vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. You can find both of these in your kitchen cupboard or down the shops. Your film canisters here, take the lids off. All you're going to do is cover the bottom of each of the canisters. You don't need a lot, you just need to cover the bottom of it. Now bearing in mind, the more you put into these canisters, the slower your rate of reaction will be. So you should just think about that kind of idea whenever you're adding anything to do with chemical reaction. So just have a little double check, nice covering at the bottom, and that should be fine. I'm going to put that over to the side now. I'm going to take these little Eppendorf tubes, you can buy these online. What I've done is I've sellotaped two together. I'm going to take my distilled malt vinegar, a wee pipette, and I'm going to fill the Eppendorf tube with vinegar. Now the more vinegar you put in here, the faster this reaction will be, so you get inside. Now hopefully they should just stand up right on their own and they're not going to tip over. Okay, so this is where it's going to get exciting. We're going to put the lids on top, making sure they are on firmly until you hear them click. I'm going to turn them over now one by one, giving them a wee shake to get them excited and hopefully speed up the chemical reaction. So, here we go. So, as you can see, <laughs> the chemical reaction has taken place inside and has nearly taken out my camera woman. What's happened inside is the sodium bicarbonate is added and has reacted with the vinegar, created carbon dioxide inside. Now, as we know, gas takes up far more room than any other states of matter. Carbon dioxide is built up, it's now inside a contained space, it's building up far too much and the pressure ended up blowing the top off and we get popping canisters. So there you go. Are you enjoying Head Squeeze? Is your head suitably squozen? If so, why not subscribe? It's down here, look. <laughs>